for our spot for the night and we are in the Ogwin Valley and just behind me you can see the glitters and just poking out there is the fan very beautiful spot we did stay on our last uh, North Wales trip and we just came here because uh, we knew how beautiful it was this is my favourite part of Snowdonia I think I prefer the Ogwin Valley I mean just look at that that is pretty damn cool. Yeah, we're gonna just chill out in the van now, I think. I will probably catch you in the morning, which hopefully might be a nice one, but who knows in North Wales. Right, we'll catch you later. What a beautiful morning. Look at the old mountains. Love this spot here. It's so peaceful. You're right in the valley and you've just got mountains all around you. It's just an epic spot and it's so quiet. You get hardly any traffic coming down here. It's very beautiful. It is really lovely. On this trip, you've been doing buying and selling of your camera equipment. You put some adverts out, you know, around the local area before you came. And yeah. we've had a few phone calls and you've had to go and visit people, so. Yeah, it's been interesting. I do love doing my my camera stuff. You know, it's all part of you know the history of photography and stuff like that. I you know I I love going and looking at old cameras and buying and selling them. You know, in an ideal world, that would be my perfect job. But in a way, it's a good practice because we always said that one day we would like to live in a van. And how would we live in a van? Yeah. You know, we would. I think unless you have you know a, a set thing that you do on the road whether you be a, a full-time like vlogger where you've got thousands and you can earn thousands of subscribers and and you can earn really good money there are so few yeah but we're, who ever achieve that not, kind of status we're not there yet so we have to kind of think about how if we become full-time van lifers one day how are we going to earn money on the road and and buying and selling stuff is is I love doing it and I think I'm pretty good at it. Well, so. I mean, buying and selling old film camera equipment is something you've been doing on and off for years. And mm. I'm so amazed at the knowledge that you have gained on these old film cameras. You're like an encyclopedia for film photography. You know, you could actually write an amazing book if you were that way inclined. It's such yeah, but a when, shame. You're, when you're passionate about something and you love what you do, then you do, you soak it up like a sponge. If if someone's trying to teach me something that I have no interest in, I switch off. But, you know, that's why I've kind of been self-taught with the uh, photography and, you know, the video stuff, is because I have a passion for it, so I soak it up like a sponge. You talk to me on cricket and I switch, switch off. off yeah. you know. But it amazes me, people, they phone you up and I can hear them down the other end of the phone and they're reeling off all these mad names and brands of different cameras and old photography equipment and you know exactly what they're talking about you know mm. exactly what it's worth you know exactly where you can sell it mm. you know exactly if it's worth buying so yeah I the love only it. trouble with you is you end up going to their houses and you spot other crazy random stuff to buy that you don't necessarily know anything about. So, but you get a gut instinct. That's the whole idea. You know, it is like a little bit of kind of wheeling and dealing. There is a little bit of kind of Dell boy about it. But we now have a van full of mad stuff. But one of the cool things that you did pick up was another cooker identical to the one that we've got in Florence. So yes. yeah, we know that there's definitely a demand for those. It's just whether we keep it 
for another van build because we do get van broody, don't we? Yeah. For another build. I'm sure we'll pick up more on the, on the road. I don't know, they're um, getting harder and harder to find, but it is definitely a challenge now being in the van when yeah. you've got like the equipment that you've been buying along the way and then you've got a cooker in a small space. So yeah, yeah that would definitely be a challenge if we were living in a van full time and this was our main source of income. You buy we and sell it. We would get round it. We'd, We'd have to get storage or something. Yeah, trailer. Right, we are ready to hit the road. Just got to get my girl, Ellie Morgan. She's looking for cold. Stunning morning. It's going to be a hot one today. I was hoping that there would be gold in the dried out riverbed, but I couldn't find any today. You need a pan. You need a pan when there's water. It's a dried out riverbed. What am I going to use a pan for? Because it looks good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pan for nothing. No gold. Oh well. gone in to see a man about some cameras and left me in a rather nice little park up with a nice view so I'm not complaining got a view of the sea it's really lovely here not got much room in the van at the moment with all these bits and bobs that he's been buying along the way on this journey look at this got a cooker there and some mad Victorian contraption that I'm not even sure Scott knows what that is but looked interesting so he thought he would pick it up. I just wanted to take the opportunity to share this. Now this is called a junk journal and it was made for us as a gift by one of our viewers and we were totally blown away by the work that's gone into making this for us. It's absolutely beautiful. It was made by a really talented craftswoman called Vicky Leach. Now she's clearly put so much work into this it is absolutely stunning i'm going to put a link to her work down in the description so it's made up of different pages that have got photos on and lots of little kind of card inserts areas where you can write notes and literally use it like a journal it's just an absolute feast for the eyes every single page has got a little hidden treasure that you can just pull out and reveal something new. When we received this, we couldn't believe that someone would want to take the time to make this as a gift for us. So we're absolutely blown away and I just had to share it. So it's now going to live here in Florence where it absolutely belongs. And yeah, I'm looking forward to filling in some of the pages and kind of adding to it really. That's the beauty of a junk journal. You can just keep adding to it. Did you get anything? Yeah, loads of Super 8 and 8 millimeter films. Mm. So we have things like The Wasp Woman, The World Cup Mexico 1970, John Wayne. We'll have to get a projector so we can watch some of them. I think we already have a projector. Imagine if we put like a big screen up on the side of the van and watched it on the side of the van. That would be pretty cool. We could have a cinema night. How cool is that? Star Wars. Very retro. Very retro. We were literally just parked up here. We just made ourselves some breakfast, just finishing up. And then this chap comes along who has actually been emailing me. We've been having conversations. Just got himself a van, which he's doing up at the moment. His name is Les. So really lovely of Les to come over and say hi. And it turns out he is in the market for one of our cookers as well, which we just so happen to have. So this is awesome. On the side of the road, Les has just bought a cooker. He's got it out of my van, so I've now got a bit of space. So that's brilliant. Fantastic. I can't believe that I've actually met you because I said we've only been talking a couple of days. Yeah. And driving down, just been to the chippy, 
come on then, I thought, no, it's not, it can't be. And, and, and you're here. What um, is the chance of that? It's unbelievable. It's brilliant. Um, and it you're, and, and we're offloading our cooker to you. And we, we're, we've been looking on eBay for one of these and we've just got a bargain. That, so, that is really cool. Happy days. No, so we're days. glad to pass it on to uh, yeah, a brilliant. nice person. So we have to be in Liverpool tomorrow to, to um, look at some cameras in the morning. So I'm thinking maybe we just head along the coast. Never been along this stretch of coast. Don't know what it's like. But so far, where we are at the moment, it's really nice. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light streets all alone and all you can see thinking about what your life came to be you're a beautiful sight in the summer night and you can't put up a fight in the misty light We are now at Birkenhead, so we've managed to find a little park up, even though it's quite busy. Because, I don't know if you can see in the background, this is where they launch all the little cockle boats. And then at the end of the day, this big lorry turns up and takes all the cockles from the ribs and the boats and weighs them and then puts them on the back. So it's been pretty busy. But yeah, it's a stunning little spot. So tomorrow is home time. Look at that beautiful sight. Gorgeous. Yeah, so we're in Birkenhead at the moment and that is Wales across. So we will catch you in the morning to say our goodbyes. Gonna chill out in the van in a bit when the sun goes down. All good. Time in North Wales came to an end last night and all we had remaining of it was a teasing glimpse across the water to North Wales from here but it was a nice park up, nice views and beautiful morning. Yeah thanks for coming along and it's been really really lovely and you know North Wales is not disappointing again and it was good to get to some new places like Anglesey which is quite a beautiful spot up at the the, the top by Hollyhead. You know, the mountains always never disappoint. It's just a, been a beautiful experience. Yeah, we've had to do some work while we've been up here, but that could all be part of van life once we go full time, maybe one day. As always, there was so much more that we would have liked to have seen and North Wales will no doubt be calling us home before long, so. But thanks for coming along on another trip and of course you know we're welcome to any questions you know hit the subscribe button leave any comments and stuff like that and hopefully we will see you on the next one bye thank you for watching do let us know what you thought if you'd like to see more hit the subscribe button check out our other videos head over to our website we've got a range of blogs that tell you more about us and florence check out our new range of merchandise helping us to continue producing our films